I would like to personally thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be doing a knotless braid tutorial. Click the links below in the description to purchase any items mentioned in the video. So today we're going to be doing a knotless braid tutorial. Um, just take some shining jam to slick down the nape of the mannequin. And if you would like to purchase a mannequin, I will leave a link in the description below to, um, to purchase. I'm not using that much shining jam because um, I don't want to use too much product because I am going to be using a lot of product when it comes to the actual um, knotless, bar knotless um, box braid. So today I'm going to be doing a medium sized knotless braid. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to make sure your parts is clean. Because I honestly feel like when your parts is clean, your style lasts longer. Because it's neat. So you're going to take some shining jam and then go along with the um, part. The shiny jam also helps you with gripping. You could also use beeswax if you don't want your hair to revert. But I personally love the shiny jam because it's easy to wash out. And you see how it slicks the hair in place so it's easier to part. And then you can twist that strand up to keep it in place. And this also helps you with um, timing when it comes to doing the knotless braids. I'm parting four sections, but I will only be doing two on the video because I don't want the video to be super long. But I'm just showing you on how to, you know, make sure your timing to, to, um, to help you braid faster. Now this braids usually take me around this size, probably like realistically seven to eight hours depending on the parameter of the head that I'm styling. And depending on the length of the um of the braid as well. So right now I'm going to show you how to separate your hair. The third strand is always the largest. The second strand is always the medium size. And then the first strand is always the smallest. You want your strands to be proportioned to the size of the box braid, the part, because you don't want to have small strands and your plait is small and your box is big. No, you don't want to do that. So you are going to use three strands. If like someone wants their um, braid a little longer, you will have to use more, um, more strands of the extension. So right now I'm comparing the size I just showed the third one. This is the, the middle one, medium size. And then the first one is smaller. So now you're gonna separate um, into three strands. I 
I think this is the most easiest. Well, the most um, it's not. It's the easiest braid to do, basically. Now you're gonna start off doing a plait on the um, on the rear hair first, and you're only gonna do one stitch. One stitch, and then you're gonna feed in the first strand, which is the smallest, into the plait. Then you're gonna braid it in. Then you're gonna add the second uh, extension strand, and then do a stitch. Then you're gonna add in another strand, and then you're gonna add it to that part. And once you already um, started feeding in, always feed the strand that has the least amount of hair. That is how you keep your braid consistent and it's not bumpy or lumpy or it looks like it's not um, or you can tell that um, hair been added in. So if you keep it like this and then um, add this strand into the least amount of hair, then um, your braid will be consistent. So I did add in all of the strands and then you just want to continue to braid down. If you want your um, braid to be firm like this, make sure your fingers are close together on the hair and the strands and just continue to braid it down. See how my thumbs is close to the, um, the strands? Keep your fingers right there and keep them closed and tight and then that's how you create a firm braid. And it looks as though it's coming from her scalp. So if you have like any flyaways sticking out from the braid, you know, just add in your um, gel or wax and that will keep the hair down. Then you're just gonna continue to braid down. And look, it's very neat and consistent. And the size match the parts of the um of the box braid. So now I want you guys, if you're doing this with me, um, to do this one with me. Because I'm gonna break it down. So I did add in some more shining jam. I'm just moving that out the way. Then you're gonna separate into three strands. Now you're going to start a plait on your rear hair. And you're only going to do one stitch. One stitch. And then you're going to add in the first strand, which is the smallest strand. go with between my finger and my thumb Then you're going to feed it into the strand that has the least amount of hair. And then you're going to add it in. 
and just braid it on in. Then you add it to the strand that has the least amount of hair and then you braid it on in. When you add it into the least amount of um, the strand that has the least amount of hair, it keeps your um, braid consistent. And look at that. Very neat. And this style is very, um, it's tension free, it's very gentle. You can style them up the same that you get them done. Um, it doesn't hurt. Highly recommend if you have like um, a sensitive scalp. And look at that, it looks as though it's coming from the scalp. Very neat, very consistent. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned how to do a knotless braid. If you did, leave me some feedback in the comments down below. Thank you.